was the way you attacked the game to get a score on the scoreboard, or the way in which you defended it, Manic? Oh, I was tackling to make sure they couldn't get a score. I, th I suppose the balance, you know, we we said and we wanted to be able to play um, some more aggressive football, a um, more bolder brand of football, and, and we knew there were some risks that, you know, and there still is through the season, and we understand that it's it's good today, it's challenging next time, but we just played a really balanced game of football, I thought, tonight. With complete buy-in, I think that was really important. What is it about this dirty footy that your boys are now claiming they played? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, I just think it's it's taking your turn at the right moments and being prepared to play a brand that's our way. And you know, and we we would like to think, as I said, that our our brand of football this year will be generally a bit more exciting football, a bit more you know dashing football, perhaps. But you know, we also know, like we have in the last two weeks, you lose tight games. You've got a, such an even season. You just got to keep bouncing back up and go again. Well, you kept West Coast out of their own attack with it. This new team defence that you're trying to emphasise as well. Oh, th no, again, it's, yeah, it certainly is what we're trying to do, but you don't always, as I said, don't always get it right, but, you know, our numbers would suggest that we we give ourselves more opportunity in our half than the opposition get most weeks, and I think that gives you the best chance to win. Doesn't mean you're always going to win, because you've got to still finish on the scoreboard, and even tonight we, you know, we missed a number of opportunities to, to win probably by a little bit more. We look at the inside 50s tonight, 69 to 38. What goes through your mind seeing something like that on enemy? enemy oh, I was, to be honest, you, you look at that now, I don't take too much note, but you know the game's going on the, the way you'd like it to be played. But because we're playing such a great team, we, I'm sitting in the box still anxious and worried and wanting mm -hmm. the team to behave the same way all the way through. And, you know, I thought that was the most pleasing part for us tonight is the behaviour of our team didn't change whatever the scoreboard was doing, which is really positive thing for us. That second quarter when it was raining quite heavily and you guys really pulled away, what areas did you identify that you guys were doing so well in that really turned the game your way? Well, I think we just were strong over the ball and you know we, we took our opportunity. We played, played reasonably smart football, I think, because the conditions got pretty difficult, but we took our chances too in that, in that quarter. And, you know, when you can lock it in your half in slippery, tough conditions, you... You know, you can actually, uh, you know, can hurt the opposition. And when it gets like that, then the margin can feel like it's a long way away, I reckon, if you're the opposition team. So it was really important to make West Coast go into halftime feeling like it was a, a significant margin because I don't want to bring up the past, but they've, they've been able to get us a few times mm -hmm. when it's been close enough. Mm -hmm. How much did you emphasise a really hot start to make sure you didn't fall into those West Coast traps of the past? No, we didn't. Actually, we didn't. We, we talked about the courage to play the way we wanted to play, and I think that was and the belief that we have in the way that we play. And even though we'd lost the last two weeks, you know, and there were some questions about how we'd lost a couple of games, and but we needed to continually, and we have to right through the season, continually reflect and 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 fertilise that that courage and that belief into the way we're playing is the right way to play. It doesn't guarantee us wins all the time. So what say it doesn't guarantee wins? How do you? smooth out the bumps that you've had where it can be, it seems like you've turned the corner one week and then the next week you find a different corner to trap yourself Yeah, in. No, I think that's just, as I said, that's, that's, that's the courage to keep turning back up because um, you know, it's alright it's all right today to talk about it positively but last week we had to be just as positive about what we were trying to do and the week before against Brisbane we were equally as positive you know, and I think that's, if you can keep things balanced you can understand the competition that we play in that it's not always going to go your way, but you, and also when you win, you don't want it to get too far the other way either. So we just got to be a little bit cautious. So essentially, keeping a check on it because of uh, the way which it's. Well, I'm not keeping a fight. check on it as much as it, we want to celebrate a victory because that's what you have to do. It's so hard to play week in week out, and, and you've got to enjoy victory. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Every coach would sit here and say that. So we'll enjoy victory, and we'd be really pleased and proud of the way we we did what we did tonight. But we'll, we'll quickly get back to work and turn up again next Friday night with no guarantees. We just turn up and try and get it done again. Just in terms of belief, though, to beat the defending premiers on their home turf, what, what does it do for that? Well, I don't know. I, I really, it's a hard question to answer because the questions I've just been also been answering is, you know, you lose a couple of you mm. People thought we were going to win. You, you win a game that's really against a high-quality opposition, all it does is give you another win, unfortunately, at, at this time of the year, and you go three and two instead of two and three, so it's a significant number on the scoreboard, but that's about where it stops. Mm. Pal Pepe, we saw him have ice on, was it his calf? Yeah, he's got a kick in a calf, he's got a corky. We're all, we're all clear with um, injuries after the game, which is another really pleasing thing. Yeah. How much are the older players feeding off the energy of those four kids you play? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Gee, it's hard not to get 
that's one part that it's hard not to get carried away on is that they you know the I think how well they've just joined in with the group and and the group the group have joined in with them I think it's really interesting mix at the moment because they're all from different places you know and um, you know and Scotty you put Scotty into that and you put Ryan into that there's a fair bit of different about us and you wouldn't know that I'd say it's a massively big tick for the connection of the group the way they've quickly come together um, it's a challenge though because you've got to keep looking after that as well what, what made sure you didn't cough up the ball to McGovern again tonight like you coughed it up to Grimes last week what oh. made it change this time you learn, you know. I mean, you, we, we've done that before, though, and we, we did it last week again, and we'll probably do it again at some stage, no doubt. But I thought Todd Marshall was significant, and Paddy Wright it was significant. In you know, we brought Toddy back into the team, and uh, he, he was able to create contests time and time again. I thought Sam Gray similar. They, they created just contests, and that's all you want. All good. Yep. Thank Thanks. you. Cheers.